You've purchased a Caswell product, specifically a subdriver, that unit uh, required to provide propulsion and control and uh, a means of changing the ballast or the weight on board your model submarine. Now we offer a variety of subdrivers and we're going to emphasize uh, one particular aspect and it deals with the ballast system. A subsystem to the ballast system is the means to inject the gas into the ballast tank and to vent off the gas or if you will air bubble within the ballast tank. You inject gas to force the water out the surface, you open up the vent valve to release the bubble of gas inside the ballast tank to submerge. Now the mechanism that does that uh, involves a servo, a push rod, and associated linkage elements. There are three points of adjustment on your ballast subsystem and this has been a source of uh, problems for some people in that, that for whatever reason they have to adjust uh, one of these elements and they're having difficulty doing so. So what we're going to do is give you a brief overview on how our ballast subsystem works, how to make these adjustments, and to dial in the ballast system so it works uh, in your particular application. Here you see representative uh, subdrivers, various sizes, a three and a half inch, a two and a half inch, and a two inch. Now these are mock-up units here. This is a full-up uh, subdriver, but they all demonstrate the three basic sizes of cylinders that we produce for the trade. The three and a half inch here will be used in the larger models, two and a half and intermediate, and of course the smaller models. And most of the plastic model kits today are being driven using two inch cylinders. But you do notice some commonality. The vent valves, for example, are the same. The linkage style, if not the actual linkage themselves, but the physical arrangement of the linkage is pretty much the same. As you see, uh, within you have a, a linkage arm which uh, rotates about a pivot pin. That pivot pin permits either engagement of the blow valve or the vent valve uh, rubber element. And that is all affected through motion of a push rod within. The push rod attached, of course, to a servo on the dry side of the ballast bulkhead. Now we're going to get into uh, details in just a moment. All right, I've hooked up a receiver, a power supply, and I've hooked up the receiver, channel 4, to the ballast system servo. I want to demonstrate the operation from the transmitter. Your typical <clears throat> transmitter lineup has the left stick, left and right axis, uh, coordinated with the ballast system. That is to say, when you move the left-hand stick to the right, you blow. You engage the blow valve. When you move it to the left, you open the vent valve. At the transmitter, when I take the left stick and I move it to the left, I'm opening the vent valve. That is what vents off the gas from within the ballast tank diving the boat. Now, whenever that spring-loaded uh, stick is to the center position, both the vent valve and the blow valve are shut. However, when I move the left-hand stick to the right, it engages the blow valve. The blow valve opens, discharging propellant into the ballast tank, discharging the water surfacing the boat. Normally, the stick being spring-loaded is in the center, neutral position, both the vent valve and the blow valve are shut. Um. When you receive your subdriver, uh, you're going to hook up your receiver, power supply, and the other peripherals to get it operational. And you'll find that, uh, with few exceptions, the ballast system has already been lined up for you and will not require adjustment. That is to say, the three points of adjustment at the vent valve, at the blow valve and at the um, linkage arm have all been adjusted so that both the vent and blow valve in the neutral position are shut and will engage only when the transmitter stick is displaced either fully to the left or right to achieve a blow or a vent. You may, because of peculiarities in your transmitter uh, pulse train, you might have to make adjustments. There are three points of adjustment in our system and you're going to take them in the following order. Uh, uh, you, can, you can make all three adjustments at once I and mean, you won't know where you're at, but if you take it incrementally, one adjustment at a time and check for performance, then you'll have a good idea on what's working and what's not as far as the specifics of each adjustment point. The three adjustment points, again, are at the vent itself, 
at the linkage arm where the uh, servo push rod engages the linkage arm and physically moving the ballast uh, blow valve itself. We're going to start by adjusting the easiest one first and this is the first one you want to adjust and that is right here. You have two wheel collars which engage the servo push rod. Their position in relation to the uh, uh, servo arm here uh, dictates whether or not you're going to favor the vent or the blow side. So you move these collectively forward or aft to either achieve more blow or more vent. Now we're going to go ahead and do that operation and that is achieved by engaging the wheel collar set screws with an Allen wrench. In this case we're moving both of the wheel collars forward a sixteenth of an inch. This moving the ballast arm forward gives us more vent and less blow.